Escaped Sapiens. Unfortunately, there are so few researchers that study the organ trade. There's roughly maybe only about five of us who conduct empirical qualitative fieldwork on the organ trade on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's just, it's far too little to actually expose these kind of issues and to answer questions like the ones that you're asking now. If, if people are putting out adver advertisements for their own organs, then number one, it makes, makes me think that if, if people can actually find these advertisements, then so can law enforcement. And uh, this must be an avenue through which, you know, you take down whatever these networks are. But if you say, uh, as you say, if there's only five people that are really looking into this, or if, if the, the law enforcement isn't properly funded, is that the case? There's, there's just not enough resources to catch. Well, let me be clear that there's only five that I know of scientific researchers, you know, researching and pu publishing on this. I don't know about how many law enforcers are out there actually actively scrutinizing the Internet for at, at advertisements for organ sale. Uh, but we do know from studies amongst law enforcement, and we've had a lot of conferences where we spoke with police investigators and prosecutors and judges, and all of them say that they just don't know enough about this issue. Uh, many of them uh, told us that they didn't even know that organ removal could be a form of human trafficking. Uh, usually when one speaks of human trafficking, you speak of labor exportation, sexual exportation. It, many don't even know that it can also involve um, organ trafficking. Um, it's, it's just not on the radar uh, of of enforcement. Um, there is a huge lack of knowledge, a huge lack of awareness, but also of um, knowing like where to look. And especially mm -hmm. the embeddedness within the medical sector is an issue because doctors with the secrecy oath are uh, very likely not to report cases. If they would, they would be, you know, implicated themselves. Um, so this is obviously also a problem that needs to be tackled. I guess the second question that it sort of sparks in my mind is, are the sellers themselves, can they be prosecuted? Are they sort of um, criminally responsible for uh, selling their own organs? This this is another big problem. Uh, my, myself, but also others, we have been um, arguing for decriminalization of organ sale in order mm -hmm. to increase the willingness of victims to report abuse uh, in practice, it's going to be very difficult to distinguish a human trafficking victim from a kidney seller. Um, and the, the fact that it is now criminalized to sell your kidney is a huge inhibitor for, for them to seek help when they need it. And we do know there are cases where uh, prosecutors, instead of going after the facilitators, the doctors, they went after the, the sellers and convicted them. So there was one seller who actually used the money that he earned with his kidney sale to pay his lawyer to get himself out of jail. Brilliant. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we know there is a reluctance amongst prosecutors to, uh, to prosecute medical elite, which in some countries they will be closely... Um, uh, closely intertwined with the political elite, you could say. And so it's probably just easier to go to the lower level uh, people involved, lower level recruiters, lower level brokers, mm -hmm. including also sellers. Do you know with this particular case of the seller who had to spend his money on a lawyer or her lawyer, did they end up getting convicted? What, what was the outcome of that case? Do you, do you happen to know? Yeah, I think he had to pay a fine. Yeah, a huge fine. It was either the fine or, or spending time in jail. So he lost yeah. money and his presumably and his kidney. kidney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> and I I don't think the system was ever designed like this. I mean, if 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 you look at how if you look at the arguments of the World World Health Organization, the reasons why it prohibits payments for organs. It is to protect those um, poor and vulnerable uh, against selling. So I, I don't think they ever intended to prosecute kidney sellers, but just to pr protect or prevent them from selling. But it, it does raise all these kinds of moral questions on the efficacy of prohibition.